الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله also in contained in sunan ibn majah from some of the ahadith in the book of the sunnah is a hadith that was narrated by Anas ibn Malik and narrated that Jabir uh, uh, Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu said and that Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever tells lies about me deliberately let him take his place in hell and in another narration the one of Abu Huraira the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever attributes to me something that I have not said let him take his place in hell it's imperative that we strive our best to learn the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah because the more knowledge and the more that we try to memorize, memorize something, then you can narrate it. The Prophet said, Balaga anni walo ayah. Narrate upon me even if it was a. Uh, one one verse you know so that shows us that we should share the message of Islam we should share those nasus but again what it is sharing those nasus so share from the sunnah by trying to memorize something from the sunnah try to memorize something or at least have the general meaning of the sunnah as some of the companions said that they would say at the end of an, uh, uh, some narrations, they would say, well, O Kama Qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, meaning that they were afraid that they had made a mistake in that narration, or that it, it wasn't exactly the exact same words, but the meaning was there. Kama Qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning, meaning similar to what he said, or in meaning. Uh, carrying the same meaning to what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. So this shows us, sahabatifillah, that we have to be cautious because we don't want to attribute to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what was not from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this happens so often. It happens so often, subhanAllah. You'd be surprised that in land, uh, in the land of Tawheed, for example, I know many people from the lay persons, from the average persons who grew up memorizing, grew up knowing uh, things from Kitab wa Sunnah and from the books of Tawheed, you know, books about Tawheed. And you discuss with them an issue and they come up with something which isn't even a hadith at all. And now with all of these devices, and these various programs that we have, WhatsApp and Snapchat and this one and Instagram, people, sometimes they want to spread khair and some people want to spread falsehood and, 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 and amur shaitaniya and satanic affairs. And they lie about Islam and they lie about the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they lie about the Muslims and spread it around. So it's imperative to know something from the Sunnah and try your best to memorize it. And if you can't memorize, at least read it a lot so it's almost, so you have the general meaning. And that way you can say, there's a hadith with this meaning at least. You know, and you have it, you can paraphrase it. Because you want to be very cautious about saying that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. And you understand why. Look at the hikmah. Because from those people who spread, who lied from narrators of the past, who lied, look at now... Some people take their, their, the lies of those people as their religion. We're talking about people who deliberately lied. Or then those people who, who made mistakes. Maybe they had su'ul hif. You know, that they, they had uh, difficulty in memorization. They made mistakes, even if they were a good Muslim and a good believer. And from Ahl Sunnah. And some people were, were uh, you know, there was very, various different uh states of the narrators and due to this this goes to the criterion of collecting a hadith and whether it's sound or not and with the status of the narrators looking at the status of the narrators or the status of the text itself and whether the text was mixed or not so the point being the danger of this 
is that from those individuals who deliberately lied, deliberately fabricated, look at the harm that they did in the Ummah. Because some people built their Aqidah off lies. Some people built their Minhaj off lies. Some people misunderstood the religion based on lies and based on mistakes and based on... So this is the danger because it carries throughout centuries. So the Prophet Wasallam warned us to be cautious. At the same time, you don't want to be to the extreme that you never relate anything about Islam if you have the ability. Meaning that you've read something, you know, uh, you know, every Muslim should know uh, something about Tawheed. And know that we have to pray five times a day. So they can, you can relate that. You can share that. Share to the extent of your ability. Balaga anni ayah. However, do not consider yourself and, and go above your level. And this is important for all of us. Whether someone calls to Islam and whether they've studied a little bit, whether they studied a lot, whether they haven't studied, that you share to the extent of your ability. You know your level. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many, many mistakes. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.